so good afternoon everyone um, like my colleagues talked about technology in teaching i am just moving a step forward and i'm uh, giving you some i'll come directly to those apps and software which can actually help you in making your work easy many of us have experienced that proctoral duty thing which is actually use of ai so coming to uh, use of ai one basic thing which i want to clarify here is sometimes we get confused between these three uh, things digitization digitalization and digital transformation so in brief digitization is actually a uh, you know uh, we are converting uh, things from uh, analog to binary the computer language machine language that is digitization next is digitalization which is actually using that digitalized info digitized information for the benefit for the consumer experience what we actually do so the common word which we should use is digitalization and not the digitization and transformation is something which we are looking forward to which will actually change the whole scenario so like healthcare has changed we can buy things we can do e-commerce we can actually talk to that chatbots which we uh, log into the websites and they come that is all artificial intelligence only then we are already using it just that we need to understand that it is not that difficult to adopt it in our classroom teaching so in healthcare in education retail hospitality everywhere we are using this online booking web check ins getting your seats fixed so you can do everything online very conveniently in education sector there are three areas where we actually look for digital transformation which is campus environment learning methods and teaching methods so there are a lot of apps available uh, we we discuss about those uh, softwares and those uh, things which are available for students to learn for teachers to experiment we already used in, in admission process in counseling we have this online system where actually ai helps you what do you need your keywords and they pick those keywords and give you solution to your queries then of course this market is growing so whether we like it or don't like it we it will come in place and we have to fight and see how we place ourselves in that you know uh, in that zone and making sure that students don't skip us or our lecture and they just simply go to the technology so uh, this is definitely coming and um, things uh, some basic things we already do is image recognition the phone unlocking the fingerprints uh, we do uh, effect detection by there are apps available in the which we can use with zoom and other online platforms where you can actually see which student has not switched on their camera where they are looking what we do in that uh, uh, v box uh, that is actually actually based on ai only ke wo kahan dekh rahe hain and then you ping them you talk to them and you tell them look here they can't see you so that is actually ai and then artificial creativity which we can actually incorporate in our working and people are actually doing in the industry so lot of things are there so i'll straight away come to some tools which i wanted to show in a way okay this is something we were talking about the logo making a uh, creative logo making so there are a lot of apps available you write what exactly you want to make you uh, enter the text of course this has their own limitations and i'm not saying that it will substitute the original designers it is just for some people who would like to work and learn certain things so suppose it you want to make any logo you want to give them a name so you have those options where you can add the slogan also and choose color theme so some basic things which we can do ourselves i'm not um, this is of course not for the students right now but yes for the teachers these are something which i would you know i would suggest that we start working on and not restrict ourselves by saying that we can't do it so uh, whenever final year students are there i always suggest them to start experimenting but not exactly the first year students who skip dng and start making logos like this but this these are certain things which are there in the industry these are certain things which are available so as a smart teacher we should try and understand so suppose this is i want to make logo and i am i want to make it for maybe a medical dental choose the colors so these are this is all ai based so you can design decide which fonts you want this give you examples also so it's quite easy to generate certain things they give you a lot of options and then you can have an ideas and finally you know make it or customize it as per your needs so this give you a lot of options so this is one app which i wanted to discuss another one is um, otter voice so medha ke liye very important this is actually your personal assistant it keeps your notes um, you enter you know when you are in a meeting you start recording what i am saying it will record convert it into text so minutes of the meeting can be prepared it can be uh, you know uh, it can be sync with your calendar so when uh, when especially on zoom and all if you want to record whatever is happening you can use this 
uh, this app. Then there is something uh, which is chat uh, GP. So this is again very important. So I talk, I want MCQs on media laws. <coughs> and this will actually give you internet issue hai, to nahi chalega. Yes, it will give you MCQs, plagiarism free content. It will pick from whatever is available and on the topic. It can also make lesson plans. It can actually make uh, give you a syllabus also if you want course outline of a particular subject that what all we should include in that. So it gives you a lot of things here in this chat box. Then there is one which is AI writer actually gives you articles on a particular topic again plagiarism free. So there are a lot of uh, I'll share these links with you so that you can experiment with these uh, apps and softwares and actually incorporate in your day-to-day uh, -day administrative work and things and it will you know actually make things little easy so starting with advertising we have in logo we logo making for copywriting all these things we actually have uh, these apps and people are using it uh, when you see a lot of content writers actually writing so many content with the help of AI only so uh, this is again for a support system for professionals and not for the people who actually stop they start depending on this because this is again technology and technology can always have glitches and can give you wrong content, you have to read it. Like people are a lot of day, uh, these days using Quillboard, which is paraphrasing, but actually you can't blindly follow it. When you will reread it, you will find that there are a lot of errors. So there are issues, hai, but still they are kind of helpful. Uh, promoter can use Grammarly, bhi use karte hai. Toh ye toh sara, this is our important, they give you synonyms and all, but then they are support system and we should not get dependent on them. But this is something which will definitely come in play. When we see our not that bright student going in industry and actually doing content writing, so we really think that how do they do But actually, there are, there are a lot of helps available and people are learning and experimenting that in this. Thank you.